What's up dudes? Hope you guys are doing good out there. Today we got a fantastic video that I'm very happy to bring to you guys at home. Anyways, as you can see, I have a nice assortment of flame cans in front of me because we just got the shipment in. And, and like I said, now is the time to pick up your favorite colors. And I actually have some of my favorite colors aligned up here. <laughs> it's so bad, just like her dad. So anyways, let me, let me set her down again, but she'll probably try to pull my pants off like she did last time. So <clears throat> let's take a look at some of the colors that I have here. This looks a lot like black. I'm sure you guys are probably thinking it's black, but it's not. It's actually anthracite gray. It's one of my favorite colors to use for outlines because, you know, a lot of people use black for outlines. It's great. I love it. I use it all the time. But, you know, if you use this next to a, someone who's using black, it kind of stands out a little bit. You know what I mean? Because it's just a little bit lighter and has a little bit more of a hue to it. And isn't this what this is about, is to stand out amongst other people. So definitely don't sleep on the anthracite gray. It works really well with highlights. You know, for example, like traffic purple. Let's... Let's move on to traffic purple. As the name implies, it's a safety color. So think of like OSHA colors, like OSHA green, OSHA purple. It's definitely in that vein. It's a very bright purple, but it's more of like in the magenta realm. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like a blue purple. It's not like a red purple. It's kind of a magenta-ish purple, if you will. A very cool shade. We'll definitely use this later in the video. Highly recommend it. Uh, like I said, the shipment's just here, so don't sleep on it. Okay, up next is Viola Dark. This is a, like... How would I say this? This is like a velvet purple. You know what I mean? Think of like a velvet purple. This is the color that matches that right there. It's very, very thick. It lays down a really thick line. So you could actually use this for outlining really, really well. High coverage purple right here. Very much, uh, uh, I'd say one of my top fives. One of my top fives, that's for sure. And speaking of top fives, up next is Tele Magenta. Next to the safety purple, you can see there's quite a bit of a difference between the two, but it's a very, very nice shade. Great for outer outers, great for highlights. You guys will love it. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, menthol. As the name implies, it's like that really nice kind of minty kind of green color. Very, very thick as well. Very good for fills, very good for pretty much everything you like to do. I love this. This is like, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, California colors. This is like those old school California colors. You know, think of like corals, menthol, uh, teal blue colors like that. Really, really cool stuff. Big fan. So let's move on to the next one. Signal white. This might be my favorite white of the bunch. It's a very smooth riding white, very high coverage, very, very good shines. I think you guys will really enjoy this. And um, we've talked about it before. What can I say? It's fantastic. So this is just a sample of some of my favorite colors. Not all of them. You know, I, I really enjoy Crazy Cherry, uh, Crazy Grass. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The Denim Blue, the Cosmos Blue. Those are also really great colors as well, too. But, you know, I like to kind of pick some stuff at random. We play around with it, see what it does, and, uh, you know, have some fun with it. And speaking of which, why don't we do that right now? Good idea. Let's do it.
as far as these European paints, these high quality artist paints, you know, I wouldn't want to say that one paint is better than the other. I will say this, that they all achieve a very nice line and they have very good color fidelity and they'll suit most artists and their needs. Now it's up to you to figure out exactly what you like. Actually, let me know. What do you like and why? Um, but I will say this, it, you know, these cans definitely are a high priority in my bag. If I'm out painting, chances are I'm going to be using a few of these cans because they flow really nice. And especially for like accent colors and stuff like that. They have these really nice, bright, saturated colors, which I really appreciate. You know, that was one of the things that, you know, we used to carry the 94s. I always felt like the 94 line was, uh, it was very pastel. Like a lot of the colors were on the pastel edge. You know, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I enjoy pastel colors. Um, but I like the pop, you know, I like, I like to have a little bit more pop colors in my paint line. Now that may have changed. I haven't looked at the 94 line recently, but at least last time I checked. But like I said, they're all great paints. You would enjoy using any of them. Um, but these ones are in stock right now. <laughs> so get them while you can. Um, oh, also one last thing. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta mention this. So it's come to my attention that some bugs do indeed fart. So there you go. Some bugs do. You know, someone had mentioned something about stink bugs, which kind of got me thinking about that too. You know, I haven't looked it up, but I think stink bugs aren't farting. I think they're using a defense, like a gland, some type of gland that secretes some smell. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Who knows? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely gonna be making more. I got some, uh, you know, I'm actually gonna be making a Spray Max video because a lot of people have been asking about that. So we'll, we'll, be, we'll be featuring that hopefully if not this weekend, by Monday. Hopefully we'll get out there by Monday. And, uh, you know, comment below. Let me, let me know what you guys think of my new format. I'm trying to keep this a little bit more simple. A little talk, a little action, a little talk at the end. And then, you know, we got a video nice and short and sweet, ready to eat. Beautiful. So anyways, thank you very much, guys. Hope you guys have had a good day. I'll talk to you later. Peace.